What is going on guys, we're back with another video today and it is week 4 in our LA Chargers online user franchise. We're going against the Giants, going from New York to New York. Of course we are away, I don't remember what last week's was. And honestly, I thought it was going to be a little bit closer last week. Of course we took a loss to the Jets, I believe the previous season. And uh, we actually did a lot better than I expected. Team is really coming into its own and doing well. No player of the week for us, but that is fine. Playing in New York. And we're going to kick the ball off first, which obviously I like to do. But at the same time, it could put some pressure on your team to get off to an early start. But at the same time, getting a turnover early on, that uh, that really puts the pressure on. So it is what it is. It comes down to how well you play at the end of the day. Anyways, inside. And Odell is already off to a really solid start. Look, he still doesn't want to go down. Could have had a whole damn conversation before he went down. Jatavis Brown, you know, kind of lessening the user with him this season. And there goes Joey Bosa. Absolutely killing it. And having... <laughs> A really great quarter of the season so far. Third and 14. Perfect coverage by... I don't even know who that is. We have so many different corners coming in and out of the lineup. Can't even tell. There goes Hunter Henry. I know that face. I know that man. He's uh, best tight end in the league. That's all I'm going to say. Got to mention it. There goes Tyree Cleveland, who is going to get about eight yards on a very weird comeback play. It was obviously a curl route, but kind of ran away so we wouldn't drop it. Throwing it wide open to the left. The backup tight end, great user by him. He falls forward down to the 32-yard line, though. I mean, I don't really have a necessary favorite. Whoever's open gets the ball, and there's some pressure. Going to throw this thing. We actually get it off. Hunter Henry holds on and just about gains a first down. So the continuing of the perfect drive so far is nice to the outside. Yep, right to Cleveland. I saw that route all day. I know myself well, believe it or not. First and goal from the seven. This could be the first run of the game. And it very well might be Melvin Gordon down to the two. Nope, second run of the game. Second goal from the two. A little bit of pressure. Throw this away. We do get it off. So that is, I believe, yep, going to be the first incompletion of the game. Off to a great start, even with that throwaway. You got to do it. Can't, can't risk it every single time. And here, Eckler, my man, barely going to get it. Wow, that was actually really close. He almost got hit stick short, but he got hit stick into the end zone. Good user in by us, and he's going to throw it over the middle. It's a risky one. I'm surprised he actually held on to that. Looks like a backup freaking tight end or maybe even a fullback. Third and 11, though. We have him in a good spot where we want him, and there's the pressure up the middle. Who is that? Adama Kong Su. He pins us deep, though. We're down to the two-yard line looking for a conversion. Well, not conversion, but just trying to get some more yards. Hunter Henry easily does that. Start of the second quarter at the 21-yard line. Melvin Gordon. Going to get a chance to run the ball here. He's going to find a little bit of room and power for about three yards. Not much. Third and seven from the 24-yard line. Melvin Gordon going to block. Brings an extra guy. And Tyree Cleveland got the ball, and he's not done yet. To the 44-yard line. Nice little play. Nice little run after the catch, too. Second and six. That was a really good blitz. No one got open, and it forces a third down. Here it is, the conversion. We really need this. Taking a shot deep, and he's wide open. Tyler Lockett dusts him. That's kind of the reason why we traded for him, to get a guy like him. I know Tyrell's pretty fast, but a smaller guy like him. And there goes Moses, the man we're really trying to dev up. That's going to be a great start to, uh, you know, obviously getting to that stage where we want him. First and 10 inside, Tyler Lockett holds on. Doesn't take a hit. That's the main goal. I don't care if he gets a touchdown right after. Or he gets taken out as long as he doesn't drop it. Which, of course, he did not first and 10, and that's just a bad decision. Threw it right to him. I mean, he even probably didn't even know. He looked like he clicked B to try to switch off to make a tackle. And, uh, yeah, that's just a bad play. And there's an interception. Is that the first interception of the season, actually? I can't even remember. Great stop on the ground by us. Third and five. Can we force a three and out? We can. And thank God they didn't call a flag. That was not catchable, but you just never know. Melvin Gordon going to take a counter now. Very rare play call from us. Inside spin. There goes Melvin slipping in. And there goes Melvin Gordon for 82 yards. His guy just gives up smartly. And Melvin Gordon scores. So that's that's one hell of an effort. I did not expect to score there. The blocks were okay. But more importantly, the moves you put on. And there goes Trevor Williams. Get out of our way. Trevor can get up and run. And he, his ankle just goes wobbly. <laughs> this is starting to become... A bit of one of those blowouts. 
Taking a shot deep to Tyler Lockett, who is open and catches the ball. He missed it. I, To be honest, I don't really throw those risky plays. So he probably got caught off guard. Honestly, I would. Like, I really don't make those risky plays. And, ooh, speaking of risky ones, third and four, Derwin James almost had a pick. Two minutes left in the first half. And let's be honest, after this, probably not going to see much of the starters because this game is basically over. Obviously, there's still different highlights, maybe stats that can be uh, acquired. So we'll take a look at those, of course. And Melvin Gordon fighting hard again. Goes over 100, third and inches from the 43-yard line. And over the middle, Tyrell Williams is not gone. I thought he was gone, but he was not. From the 22-yard line, we're going to run the ball with Eckler, who's had a really good season last year. And uh, this is going to be a nice one. He misses. Okay, there you go. Eckler scores a touchdown. 35-0 to in the first half. Still uh, in the first half. <laughs> you never know when another score is going to happen. He looks like he's going to run. No, he's not. Where's Saquon Barkley, by the way? I don't even know where the hell he is. All the time in the world, he's going to find someone. He's going to take a shot deep. And this is going to be dropped by Boyd, Chris Boyd. He's got pretty decent zone coverage, but I think he's 24 now. And uh, he never really had a chance with this team. The guys that we have are just such solid starters. And there goes Moses with another one. That is a huge pick to take. Down, and he fumbles at the 39. I don't know if that's a real fumble. Honestly, couldn't care less. They got the pick. That's all that matters. Of course, it will get overturned. Really didn't doubt that. And I would have had the backup tight end for a potential touchdown. Good blitz, though. It worked. Don't know where we're going to go with the ball. Uh, I know where we're going to go now. Tyrell Williams catches the ball and falls forward all the way down to the 11. Five seconds left. We're going to take a shot if we can. Uh, okay, I, I don't... Oh, that was a good trick. But we did have one guy open, and it was Tyrell Williams. It was a good trick, in fairness. I didn't expect that. I honestly thought it was going to be wide open play. Luckily, I waited. And, of course, we finished the game, basically, with a 42-0 to zero lead at this point. Eckler is gone. But, of course, we don't really need to score. Let's let's keep this somewhat gentlemanly-like. I know it's kind of weird because it's not really realistic. You know, this is it's kind of like a pro team going against a college team type of result here. But these are the type of games that happen sometimes. You got to kind of lay off. Otherwise, even your own fans might hate you, and we don't, we don't want that. We, don't, we already don't have enough fans coming to the games the way it is. We don't want teams thinking, oh, well, here's a, another team that finally they start winning and they don't know how to act, which, I mean, that's kind of the way it is. But obviously, we're having some pretty damn good success. So the team has a little bit of, you know, a little rights to, to maybe showboat. And that would have been a nice pick with Moses, I believe. Moses would have been uh, very happy with a three-pick performance. I sure as hell would have been. Three minutes left in the third. He's starting to drive. I mean, I would assume without a turnover... He's going to come up with some points, so the shutout will be ruined, and I'll be sad, but that's beside the point. I mean, it's it's nice to see progress. Yes, never mind. Moses is still going to come up with pick number three. Is that pick number two? It had to be pick three, unless we got one with, like, Jatavis or something. But usually it's pretty easy to tell who's who because Moses looks like Ray Lewis on steroids, which is hard to say. And here's Gates, who is gone. He actually looks pretty damn fast here, not going to lie. He looked pretty good. Pretty good speed. Third and goal now from the 15. Obviously not really trying to score, but I kind of have like a little unspoken rule where if I am able to score on a really tough situation running the ball, I will do it. But obviously open field, anything can happen. But in that situation, he should have it stopped. Second and three inside finds his man. Four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. 36-yard line. Quarterback rolling to the left. He's actually going to get a huge block here. Moses, oh my lord. How do you even have the balls to take that hit? Got to give his quarterback some credit there to not fumble. Moses cannot get there. Desmond King a little bit late. He's going to catch it down to the four on us. First and goal from the four. Play action. Looking for a touchdown. Is he going to find it? He will. Wow, what a catch by Robertson, who I think is his kick returner as well. Two and a half minutes left. Obviously going to try to run the ball to end the game. Maybe extend it just enough. Look at Eckler with a nice little cut spin. Beautiful stuff. I try to execute that all the time, and sometimes it just doesn't work. Third and two. Fullback falling forward doesn't get it. But that's beside the point because the game is over. Not the greatest statistical game. Or not statistical, but highlight game. We obviously had some good statistics. A lot of picks on defense. Running was good with Melvin. Well, kind of. He had a really big run, which obviously... 
turned out pretty nice at the end. Jacoby killed it. Obviously, it was super accurate. Found a lot of open guys rushing. The backups got involved, too. I mean, even Gates had a good couple of, you know, big plays. It was a good game for offense, no doubt. And then defense was just completely smothering. We did throw one pick, and it was completely on me. My bad decision. Jacoby only missing five throws out of 20. 339 yards. Very good completion percentage. Great numbers in general. Eckler, 86 yards. Melvin Gordon with 100 and plus. Receiving, you know, not really any crazy numbers other than Lockett. Lockett did have a very good game. Probably made himself on the thumbnail, to be honest. And that's about it. I mean, that's, I'd say Moses and Lockett was the thumbnail. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a very convincing performance. So close to an upgrade. But until next video...